Hi everyone, welcome back to Pause to Read. I'm Emily and today we're going to be reading Aqua Dog, written by Lisa Vander Whelan. Here at the museum we learn all about dogs and different breeds that have different jobs. Well today we're going to be reading about a border collie who's supposed to be herding sheep on the farm but instead likes to go for swims. Why don't we all pull up a chair and get ready to read about Aqua's adventures on the farm. Down on the farm lived an aquatic hound who learned to swim since rescued from the pound. From the time he could dig, he could swim like a fish. He dived down deep with a splash and a splish. Aqua would swim every single day, splashing around was his favorite play. The farmer got angry when he dived down deep instead of running around herding up the sheep. Aqua, he'd yell, get out of that dam, go and herd sheep and chase that lamb. You silly mutt and the water you're skimming, these are things to be done, not just swimming. So Aqua would go and do as he was told. But what he wanted to do was swim till cold. There are then one very stormy day, the farm filmed with rain covering the animals, the crops, and the grain. The farm got flooded, the water got deep, the levels were rising above the sheep. Help, cried the farmer, the animals might drown. We need to get them safe to the high end of town. Then out of his kennel splashed man's best friend, barking in bubbles, on me you can depend. So Aqua did the thing he did best. He swam and he swam to save the rest. He paddled and he glided. He dived and he stroked. He staved the sheep who were very stoked. But just when he thought his swimming was profound, he looked for the farmer but heard not a sound. He barked with bubbles, he sang like a whale, he dove down deep with the flick of his tail. For below the water, the farmer couldn't swim. Lucky Aqua the dog was there to rescue him. He pulled the farmer to safety and dragged him to higher ground, where the farmer lay there, grateful and spellbound. Thank you, he whispered to his furry friend. Forever I'll be glad for your swimming trend. Once the flood subsided, the water disappeared. The farm was all messy and had to be cleared. The farm looked different, but something special had been built for a remarkable dog out of a farmer's guilt. I've built you something special, you clever little tyke. A way to say thank you that I hope you'll like. Out in the paddock was a glistening blue pool. But before Aqua the dog could even drool, he ran and jumped in, splish, splash, splash. Under the water, he went in a flash. Aqua Dog was a hero with a smile from ear to ear. He had his own swimming pool to use throughout the year. You've taught me a lesson, the farmer did say, to follow your passions every day. Do things you love and love what you do and happiness and hope will come to you. The end. Thank you so much for joining us for today's story. We hope you enjoyed it and see, next, see us next week.